Mikey Davis. And there's Evans, two guys draped on him with the board, hangs, and now going to the line for a two-point shot. See, that's what we talked about early. He, he doesn't give up on plays. You know, it doesn't matter. He's the type of guy that you want your kids to look at in terms of when adversity sets in or rejection or disappointment. He doesn't put his head down. He just keeps going so he can get his shot blocked twice and then he's going to go back after the third time. He you just, saw it firsthand in your days in Brooklyn. Right, and he just doesn't quit. He, 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 he never really makes excuses. He's the type of player you, you want on your team. And what a core it's been with Lewis, Evans, Mahmoud Abdurao coming off the bench, but it's been part of that core throughout. As Murphy misses going to his left, Lewis, a little subway push, and Evans there for the finish. Yeah, that was a nice little chicken wing push <laughs> by Rashad Lewis. 6-2 <laughs> start for the three-headed monsters. Scales off the mark. Murphy from four-point range, sizing Scales up. Takes him off the dribble. Murphy, teardrop, got it. And you mentioned what he's done this year, Avery. Third in the league in scoring. Yeah, he's he's been sensational this year. And Gary Payton just has a tremendous amount of confidence in him. Kevin Murphy, four games this year with at least 20. Evans fakes the give. Tees it up and missed. Now, if Reggie makes that shot, it's lights out. He might as well go home because if he has his outside shot going with the rest of his game, rebounding and post moves, he becomes an even harder guard to guard, guy to guard. Alex Scales added midseason to the Ghost Ballers. Murphy short. Ricky Davis there for the long rebound. Chris Johnson. Off the dribble, good release, nails the long two over Evans. Yeah, Murphy's going to have to get it going. And you know I love to be right on my predictions. And when I'm saying Murphy's going to have a, a big-time game today, he's got to get it going and make me look good. Eh? <laughs> Not going to lie, Avery, that wasn't the best pass. Johnson spins and the finish against Lewis. And the Ghost Ballers take a one-point lead. Yeah, Chris Johnson, 6'11". You know, guy who can handle the basketball. You got guys that six, eleven, seven feet tall that can handle the ball and drive off, the, take a defender off the dribble and shoot it. You know, he defends the basket pretty good. He's just so long. He's like a seven-four wingspan. Last seven points to the Ghost Ballers. Here's Murphy into traffic. Almost got the runner to go. Johnson tees it up. Nails the three over Evans. Chris Johnson, maybe one of the more unheralded guys in the big three. And the Ghost Ballers, it's a 10-0 run. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. When, when you're looking at Chris Johnson, you know, he's, he's long. You know, he can play inside. Here it is with the left shoulder jump hook. Fake the left hold. And then the last bucket, the three-point shot, Reggie Evans didn't close out for and thus disrespected him, and he made the three. I've always been a fighter. One road with one goal. I've never faced a style like Belfort. I'm facing a monster. We both understand what it's like to be warriors. Sacrifice it all if I got to. Everything's at stake. No, no pain, no glory. I spent months looking for a job. I got nowhere. This helped me deal with that frustration. Things changed when I tried ZipRecruiter because it works like a free personal recruiter. ZipRecruiter sent me great jobs. I applied with a click. Some companies even invited me to apply. I started a new job last week. Dad? This still helps. Go to ZipRecruiter.com and put ZipRecruiter to work for you. Big three. three, three, three. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big three, come on. Three, three, three. Yeah, three, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah. Three, three, three. Now that's a magic number. Got the homies balling out for the whole damn summer in that four point circle with that ghost ball of purple. If you check the roster, got a three head monster. Now them killer threes are like killer bees. Start dropping threes like trilogies, like companies, like PIG. Get official Big 3 merch at store.big3.com for league and team apparel, including jerseys, hats, and jackets. Get it all at store.big3.com. Final game of the year in Las Vegas. A lot at stake. Here's a look again at the playoff scenarios. Try stay with the upset earlier against the triplets. So those two in the playoffs. Trilogy losing, but they are in. And then the scenario is Avery Johnson. Three-headed monsters, a win, and they're in. Ghost Ballers need to win by a ton to get to the Bahamas. And the Killer Three is hoping the Ghost Ballers win by just enough to get them down to the Bahamas. Yeah, we'll see our our comrade uh, John Sally already had Ice Gervin, George Gervin playing golf in San Antonio. <laughs> so he was basically saying you have no shot, but you never know. Crazier things have happened. By the way, George Gervin loves to play golf, like multiple times a week, events everywhere. Scales from Johnson. So for the three-headed monsters, you have Rashard Lewis, Reggie Evans, Kevin Murphy against Johnson, Scales, and Davis for the Ghost Ballers. Yeah, Gary Payton was talking in that last time out about getting Murphy a little bit more in the post. Scales, too much. Evans, leading rebounder in every big three season. Last three with the three-headed monsters. First with the killer threes. Lewis finds him. Evans, the roll and the finish and the foul and a chance at three for big Reggie Evans. But give Reggie Evans credit because earlier in this play, he was quarterback in the team, getting Murphy space. Murphy spaced with a little fake split cut and then Reggie Evans slips to the basket and Rashad Lewis hits him for an, an assist. But Reg Reggie Evans really did a nice job of communicating communication is not always on defense it's also on offense and he directed murphy on where to go and it was a nice little two-man game with he and rashad lewis he knew it was short but murphy with the rebound off the free throw good fight by the three-headed monsters all three players combining on that rebound and evans scores for two you just see a little bit more urgency right now from the three-headed monsters compared to the ghost ballers especially it shows up on those loose balls the steal the slap and the free throw coming up for evans avery he has been everywhere in this first half yeah and it's good when the player consistently plays to his strengths reggie is the defender Defensive player of the year, in my opinion. He gets steals. He, he's not so much a, a shot blocker. He's never really been a shot blocker in his career, but he's been a guy to move over, give his body up, and sacrifice his body for taking charges and really good, quick hands, steals guy. Here's Davis over Lewis. Hit the net, not the rim. And Murphy strips the recovery by the Ghost Ballers. Up coming our way off the hands of Ricky Davis and a turnover back to the three-headed monsters. Boy, when George Gervin just picked that ball up, he probably had a flashback. It's like, it was so easy for me to put this ball in the basket. I, I attended, I went to a game years ago in New Orleans when, you remember the New Orleans Jazz? I know about them, yeah, I don't remember them. Right. I'm showing my age. <laughs> I went to watch George Gervin play in the Superdome. He put on the show. He and wow. Pistol Pete Maravich. Four-time NBA scoring champion, George Gervin. Trying to get Stefan Hanna into the game. The Iceman is fourth year as Ghost Ballers coach. Known for the finger roll. And many points along the way with the Spurs. Davis denied by Lewis. High low, Evans to Lewis, reverse is there, and the three-headed monsters extend the lead. Yeah, and, and fortunately, Ricky Davis has a good point there. Looked like he got grabbed 
uh, by Rashard Lewis. And again, a lot of the leagues would call fouls in that situation, but not the big three. Oh, Chris Johnson, the drive and the reverse slam. My goodness. And big fella, way to turn up your game. Last week, he only had five points. It, you know, the ghost ballers didn't have a player score over seven points last week. That's why they scored 19. Now Evans with an easy pat to the rim, but Chris Johnson, one of the big dunkers in the big three, and he scored 11 of the 14 for the ghost ballers. Scales the fake, fires over Murphy. Davis, offensive rebound, but threw it away. This one deserves another look. Yeah, a little show and go here. That's one of the few mistakes Reggie Evans will make on defense. But give Chris Johnson credit. Nice shot fake. Drive to the basket. Boom. He said, Reggie, you reach, I teach. And he strokes another jumper. 13 for Chris Johnson. Two-point game. It's been a good one. Yeah, he's a different player this week. Mahmoud Abdurraouf in for the three-headed monsters, along with Murphy and Evans. Murphy bumps and scales with the foul. I think I read something where Mahmoud Abdurraouf, he's going to go into the Louisiana Hall of Fame. Did wow. you hear that? Yours truly is already in it. Elite company. <laughs> well, the foul was called on scales, but George Gervin is going to bring the fire. First bring the fire challenge. Taco Bell bring the fire. Here are the rules. He can challenge a shooting foul. So if Murphy scores here, get the two points, or Scales fouls him, it's two points for the three-headed monsters, and Scales to try and get the stop and wipe off the foul and wipe off the chance at points. That's what we love about bring the fire. Murphy scales down, and Murphy with the finish. He's got the long strides and the length and beating the smaller scales off the dribble. And sometimes when a player is struggling to score and you get in a bring the fire situation like this and, and you score the basket, it'll change, potentially change the trajectory of your game. Because Murphy is a guy, which we've said a million times, the three-headed monsters, they need him to score. They need his offense. He's got four points now. Evans kept it alive. Skies can't finish. Nice job by Chris Johnson going straight up without fouling Evans. Evans swiped it for Panna. Panna with the swipe but the foul. And Evans was going up, so gets a two-point shot. Stefan Hanna. One of the newest ghost ballers with the foul. Well, the race for the rebounding title. Evans clinching it, Avery. He's got six boards. He needed five to secure it from Joe Johnson. Another rebounding crown for Reggie Evans. Yeah, no surprise. Um, and if you were a betting man, you would have wagered. <laughs> what was he? He would be two to one to, to win the rebounding title. I picked the future <laughs> like eight weeks back at the book. <laughs> Evans, now the free throws have been an issue so far in this game. But the three-headed monsters, again, if they win, they're in the playoffs next week in the Bahamas, leading 2016. On the back down, foul called as Corsley Edwards went at Evans. Wow, in a situation like that, <laughs> Gary Payton, he's, he's definitely debating that call and he's basically saying what do you want me to teach Reggie to do in that situation Mahmoud hounding Stefan Hanna gets free Horsley Edwards off the mark from three Edwards wearing Craig Smith's number one jersey but with the last name Rhino taped up so you know it's Horsley Edwards yes Big fella with the left-handed three. 
you know what I love also? The referees are doing a good job because they understand what's on the line for the three-headed monsters. And even if, you know, Reggie Evans or Gary Payton, they're disappointed about something, especially Gary, you know, they're not quick to call the technical foul. You want the, you want the game to be about the players. Obviously, they have, have to do a good job to make sure that they keep the order of the game. Love the way the game is being officiated. You know it's a lot of emotions. Big stakes. Good hustle by Scales. Was it tipped off Murphy? Now, David Posner, one of the officials, had the look from behind on it. Either way, this could be challenged if it's called off the three-headed monsters, and they're going to take a look. We've been stuck on 2016 for a while, but to your point, a lot riding on this game, especially for the three-headed monsters. Yep, and, you know, every little thing makes a difference. It's a game of inches. You know, sure, you want to make a three-point shot. You want to make a four-point shot. But can you take a charge, make the right pass, talk on offense and defense? All of, everything matters. Let's take another look. Did it go off the left hand of Murphy? And that's what initially the referees thought because they didn't want to they didn't want to replay this. Boy, it was close. Really? Close. Yeah. Was, and from the angle Gary Payton had, I, I believe he thought in that situation that he went off the scales. This is a challenge. So challenge unsuccessful from Gary Payton. We appreciate when Dave Posner and the officials give us the call. So off of Kevin Murphy. Yep. Yeah. And see, we just want to get it right. Yep. That's what replay is about. Make sure we keep the trust, especially from our fans. Gale's missing the three. Four-point lead for the three-headed monsters. Again, if they win, they're going to the Bahamas. Evans, the spin and the finish. Reggie Evans, he's nearing the first half double-double now with 12 points and eight rebounds. And give Murphy credit, recognizing the mismatch with Evans and Hannah. Edwards kept his pivot foot. Of course, Lee Edwards off balance. Murphy. That was for halftime. Scales tracking it down. Closing moments first half in Vegas. And Edwards trying to shake free of Murphy on the pick and roll. Yeah, so here it is. You know, a lot of times you get a mismatch, nice recognition. Reggie did a good job of spinning and securing the ball. He knew the smaller defender was going to going to try to attempt the steal. That's when you've played a lot of basketball. You've been in those situations a million times over Reggie's career. Four years in the big three. 13 years in the NBA for Reggie Evans. Edwards, no, nope, but gets a two-point shot. And also bred in the Big Ten. Reggie Evans playing at Iowa under Steve Alford. Steve Alford. Yeah. Indiana's finest. The 87 championship. Keith Smart hit the famous shot. He's now an assistant coach at, at Arkansas. Arkansas. Yes. Talked to uh, Eric Musselman yesterday and um, said Keith Smart was adjusting well. It's a different adjustment when you go in from the NBA to college. No doubt. Trust me. You've lived it. <laughs> Evans over the back, knocking down Edwards. Evans threw the ball away after the call. Technical foul, Reggie Evans in the direction of the official. So a tee here gives the ghost ballers a two-point shot. And now what you want nearing the half with a six-point lead. So is this a situation when, where Reggie's throwing the ball because he's disappointed or he's trying to throw the ball to the referee? And the referee wasn't looking. Right. <laughs> I don't think it's the former. <laughs> I think he was disappointed. 
So a technical foul here on Reggie Evans. Now the officials are huddling up and talking this through, which you like to see because you picked up on a great point. Was there intent there in terms of the frustration? Let's see. So it definitely was a loose ball foul. And then the technical. Yep. The official is walking away. He was throwing it, not hard, but in that direction. And, and, you, and you know what? Sometimes in a situation like that, it's good. It's good to just put the ball on the floor. So a common foul, and then the technical on Evans. And Alex Scales hits the two-point shot. Three-headed monsters. After the timeout, each team with six fouls at this juncture. And they're getting everything sorted out. There's Mamadou Njai alongside Reggie Evans. Again, the three-headed monsters, they had one, two straight entering this game here today. Trying to join everybody else atop the standings with six wins, Tri-State and the triplets. But most importantly, win and get in. Raiders are now in Vegas. Just win, baby. Yeah, just get in. <laughs> Al Davis, have you seen that new Raiders stadium? My Hovers goodness. over the city. Wow. Raiders had their first game before the fans last week in the preseason. Hand off the mark. Edwards off the head of Lewis. Edwards, no. Tipped off the rim and tipped in after a wild scramble at the rim. It looked like it was tipped in by Lewis. <laughs> Corsley Edwards, he'll get the credit. 22-20. Close first half. Lewis nearly got Edwards up. Murphy. Pass deflected. Lewis over the backboard. Almost got it to drop. Scales. Can't answer. And you see, those shots in that situation, when you have defenders flying out at, at you, you have to shot fake it and get a better shot. Get it more what we call an open window. Play three on two. Edwards shakes free, hits the step back over Lewis. Avery tied at 22, just when it looked like the Ghost Ballers had lost momentum, got a tie game. Yeah, there's no quit in the Ghost Ballers right now. Lewis fires the three and nails it. And they have hit the break in Vegas. Three-headed monsters knocking on the door of the Bahamas, up by three. Yeah, they're going to need more from Rashad Lewis, especially, you know, when Reggie Evans is not in the game. He's going against a bigger defender. Just decide on whether, hey, am I going to knock down the three, take him off the dribble. Just, just make a decision and, and make the type of decision where there's no hesitancy in, in what you want to do. Step into the three. Here it is. Fake the handoff. Now there was no hesitation. Nice execution on that shot by Rashad Lewis. And here's the big father, Chris Johnson, going to the basket. Love it. Half time of this one. Final game in the big three regular season. Three-headed monsters up by three at Orleans Arena. We did it again. Verizon has been named America's most reliable network.
in terms of what is at stake, three-headed monsters, they control their own destiny. If they win, they are in Avery Tri-State over the triplets earlier today. So they have six wins. They're in the playoffs. Triplets as well. Trilogy losing to the Killer Threes. A small chance that the Ghost Ballers can win here in game four. But the three-headed monsters, if they win, they are in. Ricky Davis, captain of the Ghost Ballers, final game of the season. Ricky Davis is mic'd up. Yay, yay! Oh, yay, yay! No! He bumped me and I hit the ball. He bumped me. He bumped me. I didn't bump him. He bumped me and I hit the ball. I hear it. You're right. I think it's safe to say why you said he is the best trash-talking player in the big three. Yeah, don't bump me in. <laughs> I'll tell the referees you bump me. But, yes, yeah, trash-talking, intensity. That's what I love when we have guys mic'd up. We can bring the fans behind the scenes and really see and hear what's happening on the court. And the microphone was in danger there with Ricky Davis, <laughs> but you could feel the emotion and really what's at stake for both teams here in the final game of this regular season. First half, three-headed monsters getting big performances from Reggie Evans and Rashard Lewis hitting the three to get us to the break here in the final game of the season. Let's take a look at the first half numbers. Yeah, you got the two best players on the court. You know, Reggie Evans and Rashard Lewis and, and obviously, you know, Murphy. You know, you got the big three. You guys, they, they should have their way with the ghost ballers, uh, especially offensively. Uh, so we'll see what happens in the second half. Ghost Ballers have never won five games in their big three history. Chris Johnson scored 13 in the first half. Yeah, spoiler alert. Chris Johnson is saying, hey, if for some reason we don't make it to, to the Bahamas, to the playoffs, we don't want you to go. We want to spoil it. We know we have to come up with a 19-point victory. That's going to be awfully hard, but he's playing much better uh, this week than when he played last week in his five points. Pretty reverse slam for Chris Johnson, veteran of 71 NBA games. Elite shot blocker in his days at LSU. Second half underway in Vegas at Cohen Avery Johnson. John Sally with you. Kevin Murphy on a journey to the rim scores for the three-headed monsters. And early in the first half when Murphy scored in that bring the fire situation, we were talking about that could be a turning point for him in scoring the ball since he struggled early in the game. And he's come out in the second half with a lot of intensity. Shot clock coming down. Johnson does not get it away. A violation on the Ghost Ballers, who have Corsley Edwards, Stefan Hanna, and Chris Johnson on the floor for George Gervin. Well, teams don't go to the locker room um, at halftime, but you can tell there's a different level of intensity to start this second half for the, for the three-headed monsters. Murphy slicing, hangs, and finishes, and the foul. And Kevin Murphy showing why he has been one of the best scorers this year in the Big Three. Yeah, and he once scored 50 points in the college basketball game, and this guy can put the ball in the basket. Look at the body control, the elevation. He's got really good size. This guy is 6'6", six, six, solid body. Coming our way. Davis beating Murphy to it. Good hands by Evans. Did he knock it off Davis cleanly? He did not. Up he did. But right now, three-headed monsters, you know, four old run to start this half. Lewis. Johnson kept the ball in bounds. Got Lewis up. Johnson twirls. Can't hit. You mentioned Murphy, Avery. He played at Tennessee Tech, scored 50 in a game in 2012 against Southern Illinois. Hung it up on the Salukis. Evans off the mark. Johnson, Evans stripped him. Shot clock down to three. You, you got to be stronger with the ball whenever Reggie Evans is around. Those strips and deflections, it just leads to bad things. Now, just surveying it right now, again, the Ghost Ballers without Mike Taylor. 
One of the most exciting players of the Big Three. Injured his groin in Week 5 in Milwaukee. And they have not been the same team since. Murphy's runner. He's going to the line for a two-point shot. Fouled by Corsley Edwards. Murphy is a different player. He's a different player to start this half. And this game can get over pretty quickly if he turns it on. When, you, when you're when averaging 21 points a game in the Big Three, that means you are a baller because there's nothing easy in this league. Reggie Evans, big rebound and put back and flexing the muscles for the three-headed monsters. You know, on free throws, you got to get your box out assignments done. You know, here, Ricky Davis should have been squeezing Reggie Evans and not allowing Clores and the Edwards to have that responsibility by himself. This is another free throw. That's been a problem for Evans in this game. Edwards tees up along two. Murphy's open. Edwards slowing him up. Murphy on the reset. Crossover to the rim. Extra feed. Lewis has to hoist. Thought he was fouled. A lot of contact from Davis. All day. Rimmed out. And now Murphy quick release. It's become a shootout to yeah, the half. Couldn't, couldn't convert any of those shots. His threes are just not going. So if they're not going, you got to go to a plan B. And this is a good plan B to, to go into Reggie Evans, get the ball and play through the post. Here he is. Lewis shakes free. Rather, Evans. And both teams just waiting for that to get the scoring back on track. Yeah, you missed three threes in a row. You got to change it up. Try something in the post to mid-range. Murphy hounding Davis. Johnson now gets free of Lewis. Good D. One to shoot. Does Johnson know it? He does not. And a 14-second violation on the Ghost Ballers. Yeah, here's Evans. Long two. That's normally out of his range, but not today. <laughs> he has really found new gear after a slow start. And right now, an 11-0 extended run for the three-headed monsters. Four. And Murphy adding to it. That's 15 straight points. Time out on the floor, a 37-22 lead for the three-headed monsters. Man, Murphy loves the way that ball feels. You can tell by the first player of the second half, came out, drive to the basket, all over the place. And then when you are feeling good, then it, it transfers to all parts of your game. And nice four-point shot. I'm glad the four-point shot is in the big three. Big three. Three, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Big three, come on. Three, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Three, three, three. Now that's a magic number. Got the homies balling now for the whole damn summer in that four point circle with that ghost ball of purple. If you check the roster, got a three head monster. Now them killer threes are like killer bees. Start dropping threes like trilogies, like companies, like PIG. We did it again. Verizon has been named America's most reliable network by Root Metrics. And our customers rated us number one for network quality in America, according to JD Power. Number one in reliability 16 times in a row. Most awarded for network quality 27 times in a row. Proving once again that nobody builds networks like Verizon. That's why we're building 5G right. That's why there's only one best network. I've always been a fighter. One road with one goal. I've never faced a style like Belfort. I'm facing a monster. We both understand what it's like to be warriors. Sacrifice it all if I got to. Everything's at stake. No, no pain. Here at Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, three-headed monsters in the midst of a 15-0 run and leading the Ghost Ballers 37-22. Three-headed monsters 
win this game, they are in the playoffs and going to the Bahamas next week. They'll join Tri-State, the Triplets, and Trilogy. Those three are in. Killer Threes hoping the Ghost Ballers can come back and be victorious. That would get them potentially in the playoffs. Well, Avery, the visionary and co-founder, along with Jeff Quadnitz, Ice Cube in his usual courtside spot. Season four, over a five-year span of the big three. And this was a challenging year for Ice Cube, for the big three, for Commissioner Clyde Drexler. But here they are, week eight of the regular season. And there is Clyde the Glide on the verge of getting through the eight weeks, knowing the Bahamas and the playoffs are next. Well done. Yeah, just a well-run organization. I've seen good organizations, I've seen bad ones. And the bad ones have a lot in common, but the good ones do. And, you know, you, you talk about Ice Cube and Jeff, but it's it's a team effort. There are a lot of folks behind the scenes that nobody ever sees to really bring these games and, and pull it all together. And now with, you know, dealing with all of the different COVID protocols, we've done a magnificent job there. Everybody's cooperating. And uh, it's just a, it's going to be a really, it's a strong documentary, you know, sometime here soon about how the big three has started and continue to be successful. Well, it's really the best professional three-on-three -three basketball league in the world. And what makes it exciting, you think of the bring the fire rule and the wave of new players like Kevin Murphy just made a killer crossover but missed it. There's something new each season. There's always a new wrinkle, and that keeps it fresh. It keeps it exciting as Scales was out of bounds, and it makes you appreciate what you have now and certainly what you might have in the future. And I, I, I look at two other adjustments, reducing the age. Yes. Okay, and then the tryouts. You see the tryouts? How many guys show up for the tryouts before the season? I mean, it's just incredible. Murphy, that's a four-point shot. A guy who came out of the combine, Justin Dentman, now at Tri-State, has been huge for them in winning six games this year and making the Bahamas, which became the end goal for everybody in the league the minute the big three said, hey, we're going to stage our last two rounds Battle of Atlanta space. And, and not just the players, the families. Yes. You know, the kids, the wives, the girlfriends, the mamas and daddies. Everybody want to go to the Bahamas. Avery and Cassandra. Yes. <laughs> we will be there. Murphy off the air ball with the finish. Well, great to be with all of you along the ride. CBS, Thriller, and Fight. And thanks to everyone of the big three headed to the Bahamas next weekend. Three-headed monsters leading by 19 as Scales going reverse and Rashard Lewis applying the foul. And you know what else? Next week I've already ordered the weather. Ooh, no rain. <laughs> Some might be screaming who are superstitious saying you can't do that, but I think many appreciate the effort. Yes. <laughs> Steven Jackson, your coach of the year. All smiles even after the loss today from Trilogy. You know what I, a fun couple of games coming up. And you know what I love about Steven Jackson? There's a young man that he's been mentoring. He's only about 12 years old. He's back in school in Kentucky right now. But he spent a couple of weeks with Steven here on this big three circuit. And Steven is, you know, helping him, mentoring him. And that's a beautiful thing to watch. Now, they didn't call goaltend on the Johnson block. And Lewis and Evans were pleading for it. And then Evans trying to get the ball back. Rye smile his call for the foul. Three-headed monsters trying to get back to the playoffs. Evans, with Johnson walking the tightrope, applies another foul. And the Ghost Ballers, even if they come back and pull off the miracle upset, are still eliminated now from the playoffs. They had to win by at least 19. That will not happen in this first of 50 format. Scales knocked down, and Evans with three consecutive fouls here. Remember, if you pick up a fourth and you stay on the court, that leads to a technical, but for now, his third. Yeah, and Gary Payton came over to the table, and he just said, I told my team to stop messing around, but I'm giving you the clean version. All right. <laughs> PG, yeah. Reggie Evans. I said, did you Gary say? Payton. Yeah. <laughs> 
He said he told him this game should have been over. <laughs> <laughs> Never ceases to amaze the glove. And talk about coaches in this league. He's going to be leading Division II Lincoln University in Oakland coming up. Murphy missed with the left. Johnson corrals it for the ghost ball. Uh, give the ghost ball his credit, Dave. Evan quit. He's still playing hard defensively. Alex Scales off the mark. Back tap by Davis. Johnson, why not? Murphy times the rebound. Yeah, Murphy got away with another opportunity where he didn't box out. Fortunately, they were able to secure the ball. But you have to box out when a guy takes a long three-point shot. You have to find your man to keep him off the glass. Three-headed monsters, double doubles for Reggie Evans and Kevin Murphy. Evans with 16 and 12. And is fouled by Scales, can add to it with a two-point shot. You have three players for the three-headed monsters with at least 13 points. Yeah, nice job by Reggie. He just does a really good job of exploiting mismatches. You know, he knows he has a size and strength advantage on smaller defenders. And then when you're forced to double team him, he's he's a willing passer. Davis holding his own against Murphy. Scale swipes it. He's got the steal. Davis hit the rim three times. Couldn't Kawhi it in. Three-headed monsters got to move a little bit more. Evans, flat-footed, late whistle was being pulled underneath the basket, and he's fouled by Ricky Davis. And another tip, when the shot goes up, you got to try to get two guys, especially if somebody's behind the three-point line, is get Reggie Evans off the glass. Look what, look at his stats. He could go one against three, easily. Oh. And, and that's why guys like Joe Johnson has been dethroned as the MVP because Reggie Evans has stepped up a couple of times and um, he's just playing terrific basketball. Ricky Davis teed up. So a technical free throw coming up for Richard Lewis. And Ricky Davis is now chatting up with one of the fans here as Lewis makes the free throw. It's one of the great things about the big three, really basketball in general, the proximity you have to the court, and when it's good-natured and it's fun, it makes for wonderful scene. Yeah, we have a guy behind us. He, he's he been here. I think he arrived two hours before the doors opened. He, he was ready to go. He's been giving a couple of players a hard time with all of our games. But it's fun. It's fun. That's what it should be about. Talking about Gary Payton. 47-28, the three-headed monsters are three points away from locking up the final spot in the Bahamas next week. Reggie Evans, another terrific performance, his fifth double-double in the last six games for the three-headed monsters. Avery, you predicted it. The crystal ball, Kevin Murphy has indeed delivered. Yeah, he's delivered, and they got him in the post early in the game. He's a magnificent driver to the basket. Really good ball control, body control, plays through contact. He was a little lethargic to start the game, but he's a different player now. 31 years old. Played one NBA season, appeared in 17 games with the Jazz in 2012-2013 but mainly years spent in the G League and overseas. And one of the great young talents and new talents in the big three. Yeah, he, he was a little bit of a disappearing act in the first half, sort of like John Sally. We haven't heard from him in a while. What's John Sally's doing? Is he preparing to go to the Pacquiao fight tonight or something? Does he understand we're still working? We lost him to Vegas. Evans going to the rim, lost the handle, but he is fouled. Got to keep an eye on John, you know? Reggie Evans made an outside shot. Chris Johnson closed out to him and ferocious dunk attempt there. One point away. 
make it you take it murphy driving for the win banker not yet johnson slips out trying to chase him off the line chris johnson step to his left nails it yeah that's the one thing you don't want when you have a big lead teams can climb back in it pretty quickly with a three or in the big threes case the four point shot Evans for the win. The three-headed monsters, they've missed Rashard Lewis twice. Now the ghost baller's on the 6-0 run. And when you have a 20-point lead, and you just, sometimes the human part of you, you just go to sleep a little bit, you get careless on defense, which three-headed monsters have allowed two three-point shots consecutively. Sean Lewis needs to get a touch here. Murphy, drop step to the rim. Missed the dunk, late whistle. Chris Johnson is called for the foul. And Murphy will get a two-point shot for the win. Yeah. After seeing that, can you maybe understand why the Iceman's going to bring the fire? Yes, I can understand it. Yeah, he went straight up. Nice job by Chris Johnson. Taco Bell bring the fire. First year in the Big Three, and it could very well end the regular season. Murphy. Can hit, and Johnson gets a stop. Three-headed monsters are still one point away. And you know what? Look, if you look at Coach Gary Payton, he looked like he's pretty comfortable with that shot. Just didn't go in, but give the Hall of Famer top 50 George Gervin credit for challenging that to bring the fire. Johnson gets a look, nails it, so nine straight now for the Ghost Ballers. Yeah, nine straight. <laughs> I think now the three-headed monsters are going to end this game. Murphy lost the handle, got it back. Another chance. Can't finish it. Johnson looking for space, lost the handle, it's loose. Yep. Off Johnson, Johnson. No, this is off Johnson. <laughs> Look at the glove. I think he's right about it. That feeling of being so close, but not there just yet. Ed, I'm so glad I'm sitting next to you and my blood pressure and, <laughs> and I have to act like Gary Payton. That is a... It's a bad feeling. So we'll see if the glove is right. The coaching profession, no matter the league, it's going to get you in the best of ways. So they'll take a look. The officials, let's get a better shot of it here in Triller and Fight. Murphy never touched the ball. Basically, he... no, Murphy never touched the ball. So the ball basically just slipped out of John's, Chris Johnson's hands. This is an easy review. This is Green's ball. Yeah. Gary Payton has his arms crossed with a look of, I told you so. Yes. Three-headed monsters, point game. Murphy, teardrop, gets the bounce. Three-headed monsters are Bahamas bounds. And the regular season is over in the big three, and the final four is set. The Gloves team in the playoffs once again. Now they can take a deep breath. I'm uh, so excited about our four teams in the Bahamas. Went to the go-to guy, leading scorer on the team. You get him in his spot. Let him go to work. Here it is. He's got the size advantage on scales. 
Left shoulder. Got a little bit of a roll on the. And if he would have missed that shot, Reggie Evans was in position to get the offensive rebound and put possibly score. So, the season is in the books. And now two weeks remaining in the Bahamas. Tri-State, the top seed, followed by the triplets. Three-headed monsters with six wins. They'll be the third seed and face the triplets in the Bahamas. And then Trilogy, even though they lost today, five and three with the point differential edge against the Killer Threes, they are headed to the Bahamas. And here's how it's all going to play out. All games on CBS, the final four in the big three in 2021. Tri-State and Trilogy, the triplets, and the three-headed monsters. Reggie Evans, another double-double for the three-headed monsters. Spider Sally, Reggie Evans, after the final game here in Vegas. John? Okay, Reggie, I had to come and tell you we had to stretch it. Yeah. You were like, saw you were about to start fighting like Pacquiao tonight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, that's, that just shows how competitive Ghost Baller was. You know what I'm saying? They just want to go give up. You know, so that's good. You know what I'm saying? So it challenged us and stuff, but we ended up finding a way to get a win and stuff at the end. Uh, 14 rebounds. I think you got 16 rebounds. Like, rebounding as much as scoring your total pack. Yeah, you know, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I've been rebounding for my career pretty much. High school, middle school, you know what I'm saying, pros and stuff. So why I can't stop now, you know what I'm saying? So my teammates need that. Okay, so now you get to go to the Bahamas. What's the plan? I know it's the win, but what's the plan? What's the plan is we got to start out. We got to start much better, and we got to be able to finish, finish the game. And, you know, me, I got to keep my head in the game and not get so frustrated with certain things that don't go my way and stuff. But, you know, we got to see who we go play also, too. You know what I'm saying? That go determine our game plan moving forward, who we go play next. Well, you're my favorite player in the league. Congratulations. It, Congratulations. See you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Easy. Now, Reggie Evans earning John Sally's praise. He hasn't said that to anybody else this year, has he? Yeah, I think he said that to a few people. <laughs> Come on, Reggie. And then we talked about you keeping your composure and you got a technical foul. But uh, everybody loves Reggie. Got to show Reggie some love. Coach, a pleasure. Regular season in the books in the big three. So for Avery Johnson, John Sally, our entire crew, led by the Morales brothers and Corey Fishman here today. I'm Ed Cohen. Regular season is complete in the big three. On to the Bahamas next week on CBS. So long from Las Vegas here on Triller and Fight.